and welcome back to Anastasia Strail. I am going to be talking about perimenopause and my experiences. Yes, I am at that stage and age. And ladies, you are going to want to pay attention. And I'm going to put up a disclaimer that this video is going to be a little bit longer than usual because I want to get enough information in this video. So, Listen up. There are some struggles in our lives that we will not overcome easily. There are some struggles in our life that we will never overcome. We just have to embrace it and take pride in it. There are some struggles that God will not remove from our lives. He will give us the courage and the strength to endure it, but he will not remove it. As women, we need to sometimes stop for a moment or stop for a minute and listen to the ticking of our clocks. I am almost 53. I call myself a golden girl because I am at that age and stage where I can say my experiences is the mother of my wisdom. My experiences I've learned a lot from. I've learned a lot from the things that I've been through in my life. During the pandemic, I was able to sit down and actually spend some time and to pay attention as to what was going on in my life and the changes that was taking place in my body or with my body. Because before the pandemic, there was no way I was, you know, paying attention to my body or what, what was going on because I was too busy running around here and there working night and day and just, just making the money because the bills have to be paid. No attention whatsoever was paid to myself and to the things that was happening with my body. Yes, I would dress up sometimes on the weekend and go to a little function and have a little fun and, you know, and go home. But that is not paying attention to your body. That is not paying attention to the changes and the things that was taking place in your body and with your life. That was just a feel-good moment. So major changes was taking place in my body, and I didn't even know. There are times when I would often get these episodes of dizziness and headaches. And it all started a few years ago. It would happen on the job, or even while I'm driving. And I would have to stop the car in the middle of the street or sometime pull to the side if I can and it would last for a few minutes or a few seconds and stop and then I would just go on with my merry way go on with my day and continue to the next client and you know continue doing my job and it happened oftentimes off and on off and on and I would just continue you know and I kept going and going and so on now the pandemic came and during the pandemic I was home for a while and the dizziness started numerous times, kept on getting worse to the point where the paramedics had to be called. And when the paramedics come they would take me into the hospital and the doctors would do all kinds of tests and every result would come back normal. Everything was perfect until one of the doctors said to me, nothing is wrong with you, everything is okay, your test is normal, everything is okay, and you have the heart of a 14-year-old. <laughs> well, I mean, it feels good to hear that, but I definitely wasn't feeling like a 14-year-old. So after numerous visits to the hospital, they decided that they were going to admit me to run some significant tests. I stayed for about one week in the hospital. The doctors were amazing. I think it was about five doctors looking after me. They did every test. I was actually 
treated like a princess. I can honestly say I felt like a princess in that hospital. And kudos to the nurses and the doctors in that particular hospital. Yes, I had to blush there for a moment because I really fell in love with one of the doctors. But anyway, so they did all these tests on me and each and every one of them, again, was normal. At this point, I was beginning to get a little worried because I was not feeling good at all. And I mean, I was really not feeling good. And they were telling me all oh, my test is good or everything is normal, nothing is wrong, da 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 but they're going to still keep me to, you know, to, to monitor me and to see what is happening. I was feeling so sick. But anyways, eventually, I actually had to leave the hospital and come home after a week. Still wasn't feeling great. But I was a little bit contented because of the result. You know, all the result was normal and everything. You know, I was a little bit content, but still not totally happy or satisfied because I was not feeling great. So something is wrong. Anyway, after a few weeks coming home from the hospital, I would wake up in the morning and feel so tired with not one ounce of energy. Then I would start to feel hot and faintish and all these different feelings that was just coming on one after the other all these different episodes so i eventually decide that i'm going to start keeping a journal i'm going to start taking notes so i started the journal of the symptoms the date and times and all the different feelings that i was feeling and then i realized that it was seasonal with some of my symptoms they were happening once a year some of them and certain symptoms would be around my monthly cycle then it hit me that it's my hormones that was going crazy i figure it out all this while it was perimenopause and that is why the doctors couldn't find anything and that is why the test all came back normal because they don't test for hormone imbalance even my family doctor wasn't aware. She didn't understand what was going on. Why was I feeling the way I was feeling? She would get so many results from the hospital and everything is normal. She's sending me for tests and she doesn't understand the, the, the things that is happening, what is going on. I had to explain to her what was going on with me and what I think it was when I myself understood what was happening I had to explain to her and then she revealed to me that they don't do this kind of test perimenopause and menopause and things like that they don't test you I honestly think that they should have some kind of test once you reach a certain age that they should have some tests that they could do to find out oh yes it's hormone changes it's hormone imbalance so we could do this that that they don't do that so women are suffering out there my doctor couldn't tell me what was happening to me. I had to ask all the questions. I have to do all my research. I had to get all the information that I needed, gather all the information, and I had to start treating myself. Perimenopause is a normal part of a woman's life. It is not a sickness where you need it to be treated medically but it can take a toll on you. It can disrupt your whole life because the symptoms are very bothersome. It is very hard to cope with. It's a struggle to get through your day. It's a total struggle to wake up in the morning because you have no energy. You're just tired and you slept all night. There are times that you don't sleep. You may not get the same symptoms that I have or someone else have. You may experience it different. But each and everybody go through some kind of changes without even realizing that they are going through menopause or perimenopause. It's a crucial, crucial time that we need to pay total attention to our bodies. It can have such bad effect on your whole life. It did stop me from doing the things that I love to do. Even my business that I started just over a year ago, 
I had to stop. I had to put it on pause because there is no way I could have continued. There is no way I could have done it. I had no strength, no energy, no motivation, no nothing. I am usually full of energy and it was not working for me at all, at all, at all. So it is very important that we ladies pay attention and don't get caught and off guard. Pay attention, listen to your body, listen to the clicking of the clock, keep a journal, time yourself, pay attention. You know, I am very happy that I experienced it in that way. Because I had so much energy and I was going, you know, feeling young and vibrant. I was not paying attention, so it took me totally by surprise. I know it was coming. I know, it, you know, I'm, I'm at that age and that stage, and I know it was going to come. But I didn't expect all these symptoms. I didn't expect for it to shut me down like that, but it did shut me down. I spoke to so many women about this menopause and perimenopause, and half of the women that I spoke with, they are telling me that they don't know what I'm talking about. They're surprised that I'm going through. Some of them, I could say, they sound like they almost didn't believe what I was telling them. Because it's like, what is she talking about? Oh, I never had that. Oh, I, oh wow, well, this thing take you so bad. Oh, my God, they don't have a clue. Because everybody is different. And at some point, they went through it without even knowing. We need to pay attention. And my daughters, they were there with me every step of the way. So I am happy that they saw what I went through and they know what it is. Perimenopause doesn't have really a set age. It can start as early as in your 20s, like 24, 25 going down. In your 30s, in your 40s, it can start. Everybody is different. And these are some of the common symptoms that you can pay attention and look out for. Hot flashes. Yes. Once you start feeling hot, all of a sudden, you just start feeling a heat. It's not summertime, but you're just hot, and you have to fan, and you're sweaty, and you're just, all of a sudden, just heat. Red flag. You start to feel cold, chilly. You know, it's hot, but you're feeling cold. Red flag. Night sweat, night you go to bed or come in the middle of the night, you wake up all sweaty and wet. Pay attention. Sleep apnea. You have problems sleeping or you wake up in the middle of the night and can't go back to sleep because you're hot and it's uncomfortable. Pay attention. Mood swings. I had mood swings. Lots of terrible mood swings. I remember my daughter saying to me, Mommy, why are you mad with this? This is normal. This is... This is regular stuff. This is, this is nothing. Why are you getting mad? And I would get even angrier by them just telling me that I'm getting angry. I would get worse. And this is what was going on with me. And I didn't even know. I would go out and somebody would say something and piss me off. And I would get so mad and upset. And all this time, it was the changes. My hormones changes was happening. And I did not even know. Weight gain. And I'm not a bad eater. And I was gaining weight and not even knowing where the weight is coming from. It was the hormone imbalance. Dry skin. Again, at night, my skin used to itch me. One of the girls had to itch my back every night. Hair breakage. Worried at one point. What was happening to my hair? What was happening? Is there something going on with my scab? I would change my shampoo. And same thing. Irregular period. Well, I never had a problem with irregular period. I always have a normal period. Anytime I miss my period, it's because I'm pregnant and having a baby. I've never had problem with my period. And there are many, 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 many more of the symptoms. But these are just a few of the common symptoms and things that you can look out for when your body starts to change. That's it. So, ladies... Be aware. Be careful. Take the time. Pay attention to your feelings and don't do like me. Go to the doctors. Ask the question. You know, I mean, there is things that they give out there, but I heard it's not good. I, I never choose to go that way. So in my next video, I will explain to you what I've done, how I treated myself, and what helped me 
and what didn't. So see you again on my next video.